Hello people, this is Self Touch and we are continuing our series on Vim. We have learned some good things about Vim in this playlist and we'll continue to do that. In this video, we'll learn about code completion in Vim. Every developer need to have code completion while they are doing their development work, which means if you have written some functions, if you have written some variables in your code, then you just want to auto complete them. That is just hit the tab key and auto completion should be done that you don't want to rewrite the same function and same variable again and again. Also writing the same thing again and again can cause spelling mistakes and it can reduce your efficiency when you are doing your development work. So in Vim natively code completions are not supported so we need to use some plugins. We'll use the Vim plugin that is super tab which is provided by the Erwindu uh, user and we have seen in previous video that we are using Vim plug as our plugin manager and we have also learned how to install new plugins and how to use them. So before installing this plugin I'll uh, you will see what are the different problem that we face when we do our development work. So I'm inside my Linux box and this is the uh, box where I do my coding so I'll do a ls means list the files and you can see there are two files which are present so I'll open my vim and I'm using the nerd tree plugin which I have shown you previously and I have set the shortcut key as control n which uh, uh, gives the nerd tree in my command and when I hit enter then this file explorer or nerd tree, exp uh, or nerd tree explorer is activated so here two files are present I can easily move from uh, top to bottom and I can open a file just by pressing enter on that file. So first we will see the file one. If you see file one then this is uh, just a demo file which I have created and this is the thing that we do in our day to day coding like we create new functions and that functions accept uh, uh, two parameter number one and number two and we have written the add function same way we have written subtract function and multiply and we have written some dummy functions which have same name but uh, uh, some differences are there like this function is for convert to float this is for convert to number and then convert to string and then for convert to integer so now we'll try to use this uh, these uh, functions in our file too so we'll just quit this file and we'll open our file too. So by opening our file too, if we need to use the add function, then we have to write that add function here. And if we say a d and if we hit tab, then there's no code completion means we have to again write the function here and there's no way that we can do the code completion. So we have to again write the code. So this uh, add function is very small so th there is no chance to create a spelling mistake but suppose you are writing uh, the functions like uh, the bigger functions were present there like this uh, convert to float and convert to number so if you want to write this uh, function then you need to go to your file and inside your file you you have to write convert to float and suppose while writing you missed uh, a bigger f because in this file the float is written in camel casing so every word uh, has a capital letter in front so this is 2 is bigger one or it is capital and then f is capital so suppose by mistake we have written float and we have written the f as small so what it will do this will reduce our efficiency that we are doing spelling mistakes while coding so there is no co code completion present here suppose we hit tab then there is no code completion so i will show you that how to uh, increase your efficiency in vim by using super tab plugin and doing code completion so we will use the plugin ervandev super tab to do our code completion so we will go to the famous awesome website and that is vim awesome and vim awesome is the place where all the list of plugins are there which we can use for vim based on the category you can choose your plugin so we know the name of our plugin that is super tab and we'll search for that upon searching we'll get the list as this one which has a star of 2151 in our github repo so we'll try to open it now opening this gives some uh, documentation to it and here is the different plugins that 
can be used by anyone for vim and since we are using vim plug so we'll go to this section so here is the installation step how to do it also you can go to the github page of this plugin from where you can read the documentation of this uh, plugin and you can do some configuration and change it according to your need so we are doing some minimal configuration and we'll just copy this text to install our plugin so we have copied this text and now we'll go to our linux box and inside here we'll open our vimrc file which is present in our home folder so every configuration that we do in vim is present inside our vimrc file and when vim opens then this file is read by vim uh, vim to load the configuration and change the behavior of vim this tilde sign tells us that we are opening the file from our home folder so we'll open this file and there are some previous lists that are present which we have seen in previous videos and here we'll try to write the new plugin means we have just added a text and then we'll try to install it we'll write and quit means save this file and then we'll open vim and we'll use shift colon to come into our command mode and then we'll use plug install so this plug install command comes with vim plug which is vim plugin manager and we'll hit enter so it found a new plugin that is super tab and it is cloning it uh, the repository from the github so now it has been done and it has been finished so we'll just quit this file and then we'll again go to the super tab folder where these two files are present file 1 and file 2 again we'll open vim and we'll use our nut tree plugin to view these files in file explorer and we'll open the file 1 so as soon as the file is opened then super tab reads everything from that and it creates some settings which helps us in code completion so we have opened this file and we can just uh, quit this file or we can just close this file now we'll open file 2 and we'll try uh, since i have installed not deleted the previous one so it is giving me error because there was some error i have installed syntactic plugin which says which gives me error which you have seen previously now so i i have removed all the text now the file is fine so i'll try to write the add function so i have written a d and i'll hit tab and you can see there is auto completion i'll say now see uh, my file 2 is there file 1 is there which contains different function so here four functions are there which is start from convert 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 so when i'll do the code completion then all these four functions will be there and, and i'll be able to choose from them so what i'll do i'll go to my file and i'll just type c o n and i'll hit tab so you can see now that all the four functions that are present in file one is being listed here for code completion so i can use my arrow keys uh, to go up and down so i am using my arrow key and you can see that now the uh, convert to string is selected and then now convert to number is selected so i'll hit enter on that and it will say that convert to number is selected so you can see that how easy it was to do the code completion so again i'll type c, -O -C only and then i'll hit enter and it, it will again give me i can also use tab again i by hitting the tab without using the arrow keys i can hit tab again and again to uh, move from top to bottom of this or from bottom to top of this list so i i'll hit tab again to go to convert to float I, i'll hit tab again to convert to number i'll hit again tab to go to convert to integer and this time i'll hit enter and this will take that text from there so it is so much easy to do the code completion now suppose i have written long variables in javascript so suppose this is a variable called this is a long variable and suppose the value is one so if i again need to semicolon is not present there so if again i want to use this variable then what i have to do i have to just use this and i'll hit tab and see this code completion so suppose there is another variable with this name this is float and the value is 5 so this time if i try to write th and then i'll hit enter then you can see the code completion is there so in your file all the variables and all the functions and everything that you have written can be auto completed if you have opened that file once 
so suppose there are five files present here so you need to open that file means sir at any time we are working with two or three files you we don't work with uh, eight to ten files at a time so you just need to open that file before working and uh, super tab plugin will read everything from there and do the code completion thing for you so it is very easy to do the code completion by using the super tab this increases your efficiency and makes you a good developer so this was all about super tab plugin uh, hope you like my video if you like my channel please subscribe to uh, my channel and if you like my video please give a thumbs up thank you